Donald Trump of New York has received for President of the United States 304 votes. Coincidentally, this was the day that Congress certified Donald Trump's victory in the Electoral College. Meanwhile, in New York, Trump was working on a statement following his intelligence briefing that largely insisted yet again that he'd won the presidency fair and square. It said that while Russia, China, other countries, outside groups and people were always trying to break into government institutions and businesses, there was absolutely no effect on the outcome of the election, including the fact that there was no tampering whatsoever with voting machines. There has been no serious suggestion that anyone hacked voting machines or fiddled with the vote tally. What Trump did not say was that he accepted the conclusions of America's most senior intelligence officials. Those conclusions outlined yesterday in front of Congress were released in a largely declassified report today. They include that Russia, directed by President Vladimir Putin, hacked computers, used propaganda, disinformation and fake news to interfere with the election. The initial goal was to hurt Hillary Clinton, the report says. But as Trump became the likely Republican nominee, they decided to help him. It says Moscow's strategy was supported by overt efforts by Russian government agencies, state-funded media, third-party intermediaries, and paid social media users or trolls. For example, videos like these broadcast by Russia's state-owned English-language network, RT. Hillary Clinton's involvement is that... And the report says that strategy included steering information into the hands of WikiLeaks and its founder, Julian Assange. I know the president-elect appreciated uh, uh, the presentation made by uh, the leaders of our intelligence community. The fact Trump has not said he accepts the report's central conclusion, that the Russians tried to tilt the election in his favor, means that question hangs in the air and will likely be asked of Trump's cabinet nominees for Secretary of State, National Security and so on, when they face congressional committee hearings beginning next week. Wendy? Thanks so much, Keith. Keith Bogue.